So you kind of have to plan for it all, I guess. Yeah. Um, you know, we'll we'll provide some duck camp gear for you. Cool. Uh, in terms of shirts and and that sort of stuff. Uh, cool. If you don't have anything, you know, in that in the, in the camo sort of the camo area. realm. Yeah. It's not um, uh, my go-to fashion choice, but uh, yeah. Maybe I'll dig something up. My name is Patrick O'Kane. I'm a restaurant owner in Asheville, North Carolina. That's uh, Ganshan Station. That um, pretty much occupies all my time. I grew up eating Asian foods, and that's why I ended up this gravitating right back towards this type of cuisine. So I'm really excited about the whole process, going, hunting, and then harvesting the bird, cleaning everything. I think it, it's really important for me as a culinarian that people recognize that food just doesn't show up on a plate, that it comes from somewhere. That's part of honoring the animals that we, that we use to nourish ourselves. And it's important to my philosophy around food. So I'm really excited. So my hunting experience is very limited at best. Um, we had BB guns as kids and we'd shoot squirrels and birds. Um, that's about it. So basically, the faster it's moving, the farther in front of it you're going to want to go. And uh, we'll watch these birds, uh, the clays come across and kind of see where they're at see. before we go into them, unless you want the confidence builders or the ones coming No, let's go way. side. Let's go side <laughs> to side. All right. back with this one across. Shit, yeah. I like where we're going on this. <laughs> Usually it never goes this way. <laughs> Get lucky. Well, no, man, you got the hang of it pretty good this afternoon. Like a lot better than I thought. <laughs> so, uh, well, that's good. It's a good vote of confidence Yeah. for yeah. tomorrow. Yeah, as long as they uh, they keep flying in the morning, don't all try to come at once or go sit on us. We should have a, should have a good little shoot in the morning. We load up in the truck and head out there. And it is dark, it is very dark. And uh, one's in. So get out there, start unloading, hop in this Ranger. And we're starting to set up, throwing decoys. Meanwhile, it, the sky's starting to glow a little bit around the horizon. Then it's like sit down and it's go time. Probably not five minutes after we we sat down the first time, three ducks come up. Bang, bang, bang. Took a little bit more than three bangs on our part, but we got them all down. Um, <clears throat> pretty exciting. There you go. No arguing on that one. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. I'll, tell, I'll tell you what was the most meaningful thing for me in that moment was going through the process and it was, it was getting out there, helping set up the blind, helping throw out the decoys, all to arrive at this point. It, it, it's not a comfortable place to be as a human being you're not comfortable out there. My thought behind it is when I want to sacrifice a little bit, if I'm going to take something, I need it. And for me, just that connection to the landscape and how that translates through to the plate as well. It's not just one focal point of like, oh, hey, I got the duck. It is much more of a longer narrative of, hey, this, this provides food here that we're gonna go get ready to eat. We're doing a red curry duck tonight. We're gonna do a salad and some jasmine rice, all cooked over fire. Should be delicious. We'll let these guys decide. 
And so what we'll do is you can see there's still a little feather remaining on top. We'll take the torch, we'll singe those feathers off, and then that way when we hit it on the grill super hot, it'll uh, crisp up that skin and be nice and tasty. Yeah, let me, t let me run the rice over real quick. Yeah, we can take that over and I'll slice it. That's good. Cool. We're ready. Not having, not having been hunting before and now having been hunting, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun getting out there and seeing it from one, from one stage to another. It's all, the, it's all the different parts. It's arriving at the lodge. Yes. It's getting to know oh, each yeah, other. Right. It's waking up early in the morning. You know, you're doing something. You're going through hardship and trial with people that some that you do know, some that you don't know. And then at the end of the day, you all look back with this common experience. Right, man.